what's going on guys it's Fatman here and if you're new be sure to hit that subscribe button but anyway what we're gonna be talking about today is fixing your Valorant lag and FPS problems and the Valorant FPS boost so be sure to watch until the end and be sure to drop a like because I'll be giving you know some key tips a lot of you people have been subbed for that but um the first thing you actually want to do is um we're gonna make a short little graph over here so FPS boost um, how can you actually achieve it, right? That's what I'm gonna be talking about and then we're gonna do look into the core details So there's a few things I have actually found a lot of people don't have um, And this is just the one thing I really wanted to be talking about is updating the drivers. So If we look over here is update drivers. That's one key issue. Nobody's actually doing um, But you know everybody knows you have to actually update your drivers. So that's not really a thing you know to be seen or whatever uh that's one another thing nobody's talking about is setting the game to high priority so um this will most likely fix it for you so you gotta check a guide on how to do that after this video um i i didn't <laughs> write this correctly but high priority what it basically means um is making your game you know your pc optimized against this you know valorant game and whatever and this will make it surely work because a lot of, you know, actual players have it on low or minimal. Uh, or even medium. Even medium is not enough nowadays. Um, and I'm gonna be going, you know, and showing you the big differences it makes. And, you know, uh, updating drivers. Everybody knows you have to update drivers. You know, getting more RAM. That's not an easy fix. So, that's not really good. But, this is an easy fix that can actually help. And you can also make virtual RAM. Uh, that's one I think I did for Warzone, to be honest. This is actually a huge issue going on right now for Valorant and the Riot team is actually making the games more optimized. So, of course, if you know how to do that, you have to go, like, down here into settings, click on that, you know. We all know how this works. Um, but let's go to video now and check what's up. So, I'm playing on, you know, a very, very huge monitor. And a lot of people are playing on, you know, almost the TV and don't have a great PC, they have a 200-300 euro PC. So a 200-300 euro PC, or that's like $350, can run Valorant, but not in the way you think. Um, it can actually run in something like or like 1280 or, you know, something like that. And um, one thing that I noticed that actually helped me is you notice all these things over here so whatever they are max fps in menus max fps in background what you can actually do is um limit fps always you can turn that off but you can uh max fps always you can set it to like 30 or 40 and it will be most stable you won't get any freezes or crashes so this basically fixed it for me especially when i'm recording uh making it on 30 fps it will basically lock in and it's completely playable it's like playing on a console really so it's not that much of a issue now you want to be playing on full screen you don't want to be playing on windowed or windowed full screen well I guess um, full screen basically makes the game, you know, a bit more high priority and more demanding, in my honest opinion. Um, but if we go through graphics quality over here, you can see this is how I play with it. I don't need anything more, I don't need anything less. Um, turn the V-Sync off if you don't know what it is, but I do. And, um, you know, I'm gonna say everything too low. Yeah, but that's pretty easy, right? If you have a good PC, um, and if you don't have to set a high priority, there's a huge chance while it will not work. Um, but people underestimate how much anti-stropic filtering actually takes. So if you take, take set that to one and anti-aliasing, that also takes a lot. Especially if you have an anti-aliasing on four, um, it's crazy. So set this to like none and set this to one and this is actually should surely work. Uh, what I see a lot of people doing is like something like this and you know, oh, I'm just gonna set this and this bit by bit. When they're playing on like a potato or whatever. Seriously though, if you're getting FPS drops, um, setting this to max FPS always should pretty much work, in my honest opinion. Um, also looking at this, we have, you know, looking at this, uh, a lot of people want to see how actually their game works. So in my honest opinion, what you can do is uh, click on the graph only thing or text only. I'd say I'd say show both for anything like that. So total frame time, server tick rate, client FPS. You can turn that off. So 
you can actually show the client FPS to see if your PC is working or not. Then um, CPU game time, you can also show both. Um, you can also go to server tick rate, I'm guessing. Uh, not server trick rate, I mean total frame time. Yes, some of these. So what this will basically help is identify if your PC, you know, if you fixed it basically, um, in my honest opinion. So you know what's the real irony over here? I tried to show in game and the game started freezing for me. So I'm gonna type it out on my whiteboard over here. And I really hate this because whenever I try to prove a point wrong or right, uh, right keeps screwing me over anyway. Um, so anti aliasing if you don't know what as is it's usually x4 or it's x x2 right and a lot of people actually know how demanding is this and below that you have something like um 1x 2x um 4x 8x um 16x um and what this basically means is how much it will process something over and over again and how good it will look in game right and a lot of people don't realize if you turn this to none it will be a lot less demanding to be honest so turning this also to one a lot of people can't even afford to run an eight i can't my pc can afford to run a two and an eight and a lot of people think oh it's okay it's just valorant it doesn't have huge graphics anyway and i'm gonna turn this to 4x and 16x um seriously this is how you boost your FPS and you want to limit your FPS. Here we go. So limit your FPS from, uh, so there's a like limit an FPS always. I'd show it in game, but my game started lagging and it's, 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 it's fucking terrible. They need to fix this. Um, you want to limit it from 60 or whatever you have, or if you have even more, that's even worse, um, to 30. So that's how you start. You stop actually lagging or whatever. I think that's a great, addition and a fix because it will make less drops so make less drops and that should be pretty good to be honest I, I think this will basically start all your freezes and lags at least it did for me and it will for a lot of people all right so riot games developer paul arkham has provided our players with an update on their plans to fix some of their game freight issues the release of Varan's close beta has generated a lot of hype already, blah blah blah, we all know that. However, as Riot's tactical new shooter is out of beta stage, players have been encountering some fr f frustrating issues from new bugs and actively popping out, up to the problems with frame rate in game. Following reports that the Valorant have noticed bizarre frame rate drops during gunfights or after use of their abilities, Riot has revealed that they're working on a fix. Valorant player Domin, why not? So dominating, why not? Recently claimed that he had been experiencing a similar issue in the Riot programmer. Edit lead Arkham provided players with a brief update on what to expect going forward with the game's frame rate. For most players, the limiting factor in frame rate will be a single treated CPU performance. Um, so you know this just proves that it's actually you know a CPU based game. Unfortunately, most of the settings in the game impact GPU utilization, so don't have, I end up making a lot of difference to the game's performance. Um, I think this makes a huge difference to be honest. We're working on it though, next patch will see some improvements and the next couple of patches will make it better again. The game will probably remain CPU bound for a foreseeable future. So it will be kind of like CPU based and my CPU is not as good as my GPU. Um, we do not want to remove frame rate drops and improve the frame rate on high eight. We do want to do that, sorry, on high-end gaming PCs. After explaining the most players' frame rate issues stand from a single thread CPU specs, Arkham revealed on May 10th that they already have been working on changes to help improve, which I basically said and made. And we're working on it in the Lux patch, we'll see some improvements in the next couple of patches, we'll make it better again. As he revealed, explaining the future patches should make things progressively easier for those who encounter issues. Arkham also shared that removing frame drops and bettering FPS for players is priority for Valorant and dev team because of course they want to keep the players actually in game he said the game will probably remain cpu bound and we already saw that players have been sharing many surprising theories as to why their framers have been dropping the beta with some even claiming that the ping system had been a cause which is definitely a good example however riot will likely resolve many of the frustrating issues before the game's full release in the year um so when was this made like um 15th of, of may and like we're now june and this still wasn't fixed actually um i think they made slight fixes but not in reality so 
Um, one thing, if you're super rich, you're living in a tycoon or whatever, um, one thing you can actually do is get a new CPU and try with that, or just buy a new PC. If you're rich, you can just buy a new PC, to be honest. Um, seriously though, I hope my video helped you. I have another video on FPS lag and whatever, so be sure to check that out. Link down in the comments below in the description. And yeah, this is Tana, sign out. Peace, guys.